Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thank you, man, yeah. so much. Yes. First Breakfast Podcast. Not every day is sweet like black bear candy. Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and drink it down. You keep on keeping on, even when the storm is blowing. You never know your numbers might come in this time around. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Proud to Present podcast. My name is Colton. Um, we are here today with my good friends, the Rightly So. What up, guys? What's going How's on? Going? Crazy timing. Got to catch you guys coming through town. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Savannah King for uh, getting us hooked up real quick. Yeah. A uh, few things real quick. Um, Proud to Present podcast. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, whether you're listening on iTunes, Podbean, um, YouTube. We're around. Um, Rightly So. In July, came out with your first self-titled EP, correct? Or it's full album, right? Yeah, full album. Yeah. Eight tracks. It's always confusing. Close EP enough. Album. To a full <laughs> it's in, somewhere in between there. There's no like official line as far as no. what is. How many, yeah. How, how many is tracks. right. So where are you guys coming from? You guys just passing through Phoenix? Yes, we were in New Mexico before this. Now we're here in Phoenix. We'll be going up to Flagstaff this afternoon. Wow. And then we'll be nice. doing Colorado, Kansas, Arkansas. We still have a long way to go. Now, is this your guys' first tour doing this? Yes. Yes. So what are you guys thinking? How, I mean, or? so far it's been great. We've, um, we're not tired yet or anything like that. <laughs> we love it. Um, it's always so funny when people tell you like what to expect when you do go on your first tour. Right. And I think with our situation, it's pretty cushy. Like, you know, right. we have our bed and our everything right in the van. We don't have to get hotels. We don't have to sleep in the back Green. of a passenger van right. so um it's been pretty trying good. to bum a stay on someone's floor right, right. Yeah. exactly yeah, it's richmond it's mostly Virginia. it's their driveway <laughs> right right <laughs> parking drive, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> parking <laughs> drive for the night. um so how does that work do you guys do you guys give yourselves days off do you guys do you guys need the days off do you guys feel like you could just power right through how does that how does that feel well, we have we have lots of days off we play okay. three to four times a week okay. on average so we have, you know, three to four days where we're, we're down. We can do whatever we want. Nice. Um, I feel like if we were playing every single day for six months, we would almost for sure be burnt out. So yeah. it's nice to have some downtime. Plus, we've never been to most of these places we're going. So it's nice to be able to see new cities. And you're not rushing city to city. It's not like we got to be somewhere real exactly. quick. It's like right. we can. If anything, today is the, the biggest rush we've had in a long time. <laughs> right. We have to get somewhere. But uh, well, hey, it's, like it's it. great, you know. We're gonna have some, we're gonna have some Arizona breakfast here. Got some I'm excited. some, so some stuff from the local farmers market. Uh, proud to present doing it big, and then uh, yeah. shoot you guys up to Flagstaff. Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so a few things I want to go over with you guys. Um, first of all, with traveling, what have you guys seen? What do you guys? I mean, anything that's got you guys fired up along the way? Anything that's any weird stories for me? Anything good? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, just this. We've never been to this part of the country before. Um, Jess has been like. Jess grew up on the West Coast in California, so she's seen that, but obviously much different sort of scenery. And just New Mexico and here in Arizona have just been amazing. Like just driving down the highway is like the oh, most picturesque. Yeah. yeah, it's a postcard driving it down really the highway. Is. It's amazing. Right. And um, so that's been super awesome. Um, a lot of Walmart parking lots where people are just loud. <laughs> Very and, scenic. You know, stuff right. like that. But um yeah, I think, I, I mean, we did New Orleans, and we that was a never great time. saw that. Never been so. there. We really? were there on St. Patrick's Day. That was a wow. riot. <laughs> yeah, a lot of beads being thrown. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, uh, oh, yeah, lots of alcohol just being toted around the streets. <laughs> so. Handed out. Yeah. That's exciting. That's crazy. So was this a hard process? How did you guys get started? You know what I mean? I, I know that you guys both had solo careers before this. You guys had done some things for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Um you guys come together. I mean, obviously, people see with the music, you guys sound so good together. Um, your voices sound great. Your guitar playing sounds great Thanks, together. Thanks, man. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, it's it's the truth. People are going to see it. So well, how did that come together? And, and, and how much time did that take before you guys were ready to release some music? And So we've, we've been dating for almost five years nice. in June. Um, we were playing, you know, solo. He was playing with his band. I was playing solo when we had started dating. And eventually it was like, huh, we have a night off. We both play guitar. Let's book a show somewhere. Right. And from there, it kind of snowballed into playing around town and at home. And we would just, you know, kind of built it from there. And then there was a point where we were both working day jobs and we were tired of it. 
It was exhausting. I was like, I think we could maybe, you know, give this a shot if we try and get outside of Buffalo and show some other people, you know, what we're about. Right. I think maybe we could make something happen. So let's just do it. Let's do it all at once right now. Let's do an album. Let's do everything. <laughs> yeah. And that's what happened over the last year. Jess asked me, she like, it's almost, we were at a, at one of the bars that we hang out at back home and, um, I think Jess was trying to get her courage up to ask, you know, it was almost, like she, almost like she was proposing to <laughs> me, Seriously. like, hey, you will you move, move into a van with me and right. drive across the country and, <laughs> and quit your job and, and quit your job your and, and, yeah, and, and literally I, like without even thinking, I think I surprised her at how quick I was like, yes, yes. Ready? One, two, three. Sitting three seats over on this side of the pine A faraway expression beneath the neon signs He's sipping on a liquor that I don't recognize Well, I can see there's something there behind these faded eyes Says I lost my license, today I lost my mom I quit smoking seven times today, I swear I'm done Been working at the factory since June of 95 Might not sound like much to you, but it's been quite the ride Not every day is sweet like blackbird brandy Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and drink it down Keep on keeping on even when the storm winds blow You never know your numbers might come in This time around He says if he retires He'll go back to Santa Fe He used to take his daughter out there Every holiday he says it's been 11 years since he's seen a light He swears of all he's ever done, it's his only regret Not every day is sweet like blackberry brandy Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and drink it down You keep on keeping on, even when the storm winds blow This time around. He finishes his glass and wipes away in stain. Throws a twenty down, turns around, walks away Hailing a taxi as he steps out to the night Well, I know that tomorrow he won't try to make things right Not every day is sweet like blackberry brandy Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and drink it down Keep on keeping on even when the storm winds blow You never know your numbers might come in Not every day is sweet like blackberry brandy Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and drink it down You keep on keeping on Even when the storm winds blow You never know your numbers might come this time around. Well, what about top influences? I mean, we talked a little about Tom Petty before we came on yeah. the podcast. Obviously, we are all big Tom Petty fans. There's yes, a lot. Absolutely. I wouldn't say a lot of influence, but you can definitely hear it in your guys' music. Who else, who else inspires you? Um, what else gets you guys going? We love like classic music, classic rock, classic folk, you know, even some classic country okay. stuff that came out, you know, 40 years before we were born. Yes. 
I love Janis Joplin. I love Jim Croce. I love Jim or James Taylor. A little bit more modern, but yep. you know, a good folky mm-hmm. stuff where the acoustic guitar and the words are like at the center of it. Storytelling. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I love like the band yep. and mm-hmm. um, you know the Almond Brothers and even into like that older like soul stuff. So like you know Sam Cooke and all that uh, you know Benny King and all that stuff. So you, anything like I mean, there's a lot of really great music out today that you we love too. Like we jam out to Jason Isbell, you know, driving yep. around and Dawes, and Chris and Stapleton, Chris Stapleton, oh, yeah. Chris Stapleton. Um, I saw him at Bonnaroo a couple years ago. He was oh my god, it's incredible. <laughs> I've never seen him actually live, but I've watched enough live videos yep. where I'm like. <laughs> this dude's the real deal so what's it what's it like writing music with you guys i mean clearly you guys are storytellers i mean you're you're there there are are very pure stories within your songs i know a lot of songwriter storytellers are singer songwriters solo to where i don't have anybody else with an input on where this is going to go how do you guys come together on ideas of songs how does that does this kind of flow do you guys have a storyline that you guys want to kind of attack how does that work for you guys she is very much we're pretty polar opposite as far as how we write okay (laughs) um you are i would say are more like i have this idea let me write all the lyrics in poem style and then put music to it whereas i um sort of fish for i'll be strumming a guitar and come Mm -hmm. up with a chord progression and find a melody and fish for some lyrics and find a line that works and kind of branch out from there. Okay. Um, it drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best part is over time, maybe it'll flip in like a year or two. It'll right. flip and then I suddenly hope it does, so I, I hope can it does get that too. other perspective. Right. <laughs> I know. And then I can yell at you and be like, that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's not how you do this. <laughs> that's not the rule. <laughs> yeah. Well, a few things for you guys. Um, you guys got some shows coming up. Like we said, um, this is going to come out in about a week. So, um, you guys are going to be up in Colorado. Yes. Um, Got some killer shows up there. I mean, yeah. I am so. And you guys, have you guys been to Colorado before? We have not. No. Oh my gosh! I better get a, a picture with you know, you know. I better get a good picture. <laughs> um, speaking of which, four seventeen, um, they will be in Boulder at the Laughing Goat. Um, four twenty, you'll be in Jamestown at the Jamestown Mercantile. Oh, oh yeah. I said that right? I get that yeah, right. Yeah, you nailed it. And then uh, four twenty five at Fort Collins. It's uh, Odell Brewing Company. Um, if you guys are in Colorado, please make sure you see them. Check out their website, theratleyso.com. Yeah. Um, you guys are all over the place. All over the and place. And do you guys, do you guys, is there an, is there an end of the tour? Are you guys hoping to stop at some point or is this just, we're just going to keep going until one says taps out or how, we're going home for a month in the summer okay. and we've already started booking for the fall. Nice. So I don't think yeah. we'll fully stop until one of us is, or both of us are just done right that's not anytime soon. yeah we we broke the lease on the apartment before we left so we don't really so there's no way to go, to to stay. To go. Yeah. <laughs> so. so do you think the second tour you know i mean uh, there you guys are doing some big things you guys have a lot of shows i mean is there a lot you've learned for the second tour that you're going to do differently or do you guys feel like the first time you guys have done you know i think i booked the majority of the shows that was mm-hmm. kind of like you know my job greg will do like media stuff and you know press stuff and i'll do all the you know the back end work yep and I think I had a pretty good system down by the end of, you know, booking this first tour where I had like a good pitch in the email yep. and I knew what kind of venues we would work at. So I think I'm finally kind of settling into like a groove right. with it. So I'm hoping to kind of continue that trend because it's been working pretty well so far. That's awesome. That's freaking great. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> China plates and dinner dates You look wonderful tonight Paid vacation, medication Is this supposed to feel right? Cause I got student loans I got aching bones when day 17 disappear Well they say just buy your white dress and build your own nest Stay the course don't you fear Tell me where did I I go wrong in finding the place where I can lay with faith Well I need one Highways, I don't want these 
speedy questions that we call this the speed round but there's no speed to this round so let's give it let's give it a <laughs> shot you guys have a favorite venue you've played so far uh brew house gallery in lake park uh yes i would say the same agreed yeah. perfect um go to album having a sad day having a rough day what can i what can i put in your stereo that i just know is going to make you bob your head and give me a little smile that's like the hardest question ever because really? it's like a hundred, you know? Depends. <laughs> I think he's got a spitball. That first one just falls out. That's for the... me, it would be probably music from Big Pink by the band. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, I, don't, I mean, Jim Croce, Greatest yep. Hits record. Just, just hit great hit. Like, all first of them. Just all of them. Yep. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> Front to back. I didn't know we could do Greatest Hits. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, you, you can. Greatest Hits then. I don't think you're allowed to do that. I think that's a cardinal sin right there. Tom Petty Greatest Hits. Oh my gosh. Favorite dessert? Homemade ice cream. Homemade My parents ice cream. make ice cream at home. It's can't top it. Uh, any any flavor with that chocolate. or chocolate? Oh, Always chocolate. Boom. Okay. <laughs> uh, p- Store bought ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a fight in the van I don't later the home, on. I don't do the homemade stuff. <laughs> oh, you're, man. you're gonna make someone's mother I, mad. This is not I good. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? What are you guys listening to right now? Anything? I mean, obviously we've gone over a few artists you guys are listening to, or you guys like to listen to. Anything new that you guys have right now that you guys just can't put down? We're loving Jason Isbell right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like we just discovered him like yep. the, a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm really big into Brandy Carlisle. Yep. She had a new album come out recently. I listen to her stuff all the time. That's great. Yeah. That's freaking great. Dawes is another band that I'm really starting to get into. The songwriting is just yeah. incredible. So like, good. You know. Um, They've been doing it for a while, so he, you just tell it's right. It's a winning recipe. It oh is. my god, it's it's so good. I can't like. It's one of those things that makes you so, like, you kind of get frustrated. You're right. like, why can't I do that? <laughs> well, yeah, there's the songwriters that inspire you that you go home and you're like, I need to write an album tonight. Yeah, and then I there's the songwriters that go, I should retire tomorrow. Yes. Right. You oh don't know God. how to write songs. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same with guitar players, too. Like, yes. Um, oh, God. The, I heard some guy told us one time that um, he's like, yeah, Jimmy Page will make you want to play. And Jeff Beck will make you want to quit. Make you quit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Eric Johnson will go in that same category. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I'm done. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, make sure you check out the Rightly So. They're available wherever you get your music, Spotify, iTunes, um, the Rightly So.com. Yes. Um, best place to get you guys. 
Um, as I've mentioned before, there's going to be a Proud to Present playlist on Spotify. It's just my three favorite songs from the artists that I have in here. Um, it will, they will be on there um, as soon as this thing releases. Um, Crash This Car will be on that playlist because that is my jam. Um, also hit that subscribe button as we say every time. Um, Spotify, or I mean, uh, wow, that was interesting. Um, iTunes, Podbean, or YouTube. Spitballing over here. Yeah. Um, it's early. Make sure you come see, you know, if you're watching, make sure you listen on iTunes and vice versa. Um, check back next week with our new installment. Big thing, as we say at the end of every podcast, um, the world, we got some dark corners of it, and it's your choice whether you're a part of the solution or part of the problem. So do something to make the world a better place, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you.